Hi, everybody. Whoops. Never mind, Google, YouTube. You didn't hear it. I was getting a wee bit ahead of you. Didn't want to do that. So. Monster nose. That's all right. We'll fix it. To anyone that comes in, um, this is a live. You may be watching it on replay. And that means that there'll be chit chat and there'll be a small delay here in the front. So feel free to skip through it. I expect some folks to come along here. Um, my usual time is four, but um, usual, you know. Um, it's winter and it gets dark early, which affects the light. This is a project I did in coordination with Juna Biagioni. I love the way she talks, Biagioni. Her mother's Danish and her daddy is Italian. What a mix. Check her classes out. She's an awesome teacher if you want to learn anything about scribbly faces. There you go. And right on you. My nose starts running. I'm going to get up. This is what happens to Kleenexes when they rattle around in my pot. Winter time, it's a good time to suck on a little cup of coffee. Although it is warm here today, it's 54. We're supposed to get weather over the weekend. I got some new goodies over the Christmas break. Nothing major. And we don't do presents. So, you know, because we pretty much do whatever we want during the year. And nobody needs anything anymore. I mean, you know. So, anyway, I got a set of P.H. Martin's Radiant watercolors which aren't watercolors, they're dyes, but they're watery. And they're great for illustrations, posters, things that you want to maybe take a picture of and use it for printing or that sort of thing. And then a week or so later, I got an offer from the company for half off. So that time I got the three sets of the Hydras and those are real pigment and, um, so yeah, got those. Um, Jerry's Art Drama was having a big closeout sale. I've been looking at one of these uh, Bill Birchman. I uh, can't even remember his name. Large calligraphy brush. This happened to be a medium, but it was like six dollars as opposed to thirty-six dollars. So it was a good time to get that. And 
I got my little glitter glue that comes with the stainless steel pen. And I needed more Uhu glue for my Robin McClendon work. And they had gone up on the price of it to $27, so I got it. I found uh, they had some that were, the package was damaged, and they had them in the warehouse. So I got, instead of $27, I got that for $20, so that's good. And I got some more of the Jerry's mm, Buy It Try It series. If you haven't shopped in there, do. They've got all sorts of stuff, Brack brushes. They've got some mimic brushes that really performed pretty well for me. Um, lots of surfaces. I got uh, Fabriano Artistico papers that are I have just about the same size as the B paper that we bought. We, listen to me, that a bunch of us bought. This is the B paper, so it's exactly the same. See, and I think it was two dollars for these ten sheets. Nope, nope, nope. How much was that? I don't remember. Maybe it's just four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, two are brilliant white and two are natural white. You probably can't see the difference, but it's there. This one on the top is the bright white. But still, then you can buy multiples. So um, I did. See, I bought some linen canvas um, panels on um, MDF board or uh, some glue on plywood. So like a quarter inch. And what else did I get? I got five or six. I got four packs of two. Now, all this stuff is around two dollars, two fifty on the uh, buy it, try it. And they had some little frames, those are worth showing you. They fit the uh, ATC size, four and three quarter by two and three quarter. And, you know, for a dollar to two dollars, that's really a pretty good deal if you have a special one. Hey, Beck. Hey, Rosemary. Wow, I knew something was wrong. So, anyway, that's Cherry's Art. I'm going to try it, buy it. I mean, buy it, try it. It says two and a half by three and a half, so it gives you a quarter inch to put underneath. Uh, Rosemary's going to join us. Okay, Rosemary, I'm in the link right here in the chat. And as soon as you sign on, I hate that you're having trouble. Rosemary and I have been talking about this for over a week. But it's a good way to get back into the groove. Now, Lord knows I need to get back in the groove. I have um, been doing um, let me get y'all up on this stream thought. Oh, I've been catching up on my classes. Catching up. They haven't really started yet. Kara Bullock, and let's face it, 2020 had 12, 12 days of countdown, and each day was a different project. So I've been doing that, and the Unibiagione class is a self-study. <clears throat> and so I'm working it in amongst the others. And so what else have I done? Oh, lots of marketing and stuff like that. Let's 
Let's see, let me find this on the. Ooh, resume, that kitten caboodle cover looks fabulous. I'm just in YouTube trying to find my own link. I didn't get notified. There we are. Okay, so we're just casual. Beck, I've been missing you. Been missing your feeds. I got active in a couple of these class groups. The mainly, I think Kara and I think it's mostly the left face. Oh my God, I'm getting 30, 40 requests to follow. I'm not, I'm confused. Anyway, request to follow. I, don't, I can't remember if it's in the, uh, for my page or for my feed. Anyway, bunch. I like double, you know, triple, quadruple what I usually get. So something's, something's cooking out there. Wait a few more minutes, see if Rosemary gets in. I'm sitting here picking glue and stuff off my apron. Doggone. Well, we'll either have some folks or we won't. Um, my new crowd catches up and replays. Which is a cool thing. I don't know where to put my phone so I can see it. Put them beside me, maybe. That might work. I did a live a couple of weeks ago on the smalls I've been doing, the two and a half by three and a halfs. In pastel, I've been having fun with those. Oops, there's another piece knocked down. And I did this little piece. This was just a little bonus module that Yuna had. And I fell in love with doing it. So what's supposed to happen now is that I paint over this. And I like it so well. I may not want to paint at all, or if I do, just a little bit. So I decided that I could do another one in blues. Um, and then I can decide which one I want to carry all the way through the class. I'm a believer in if you're going to take a class, take it and do what the teacher suggests. You're not in there to impress the teacher on how much you know or... Oh, another so-and-so told me to do it like this. Uh-uh. You're there to follow the teacher that you paid money to. So follow her because if you do, that's how you learn stuff. If you keep doing it the old way you've been doing it, you're not going to learn anything. Capiche? So I don't care how much I think I know about drawing a face. I do it their way. And, you know, surprisingly enough, it helps me with what I had been doing. If I just pick up one thing, it's worth it. Rosemary's got dog issues. I was supposed to go to Rosemary's Saturday, but I can't get anybody to ride with me that can drive in the dark. And I don't drive in the dark. And it's an hour and a half, so if I went down there for daylight, I'd get there about 10 and leave about 3, which is 5 hours, you know. I may have to do that. I'm going to let Rosemary invite her crew. Sitting here patiently. I've got lights everywhere. 
hard to light artwork. I don't know what that great. Oh, no, it's probably because it was tissue paper and it lumped up, but that's fine. That's cool. And this little thing right here just amazed me when I found it. It's some calligraphy in India ink. And there's three pieces here on this mouth. And they, they fit perfectly because the eyeball would be about there and about there. So it fit perfectly for a mouth. So I was rather pleased with that. And this is such a fun technique. I think it might be fun to explore for things other than faces. So I'm going to turn this over and just to sure as when I do, somebody's going to be coming and saying, wait, Dad, wait, Dad. I'm putting all of my classwork in this big book. I guess I can show you some of what I've done. This is in a mixed media pad that I had. Now, these are exercises meant to, uh, in my case, meant to loosen me up. And that's definitely loose. Here's another one. And there's usually a goal for each class. There's another one. This one I love. It's painting in acrylic. Which I've done quite a bit of. I'm not crazy about acrylic, but you know, that's just a personal thing. Here's another one. This is acrylic. This was in Kara Bullock's Countdown. This is acrylic. I said that already. Acrylic like watercolor. This is a fail, 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 because I thought, I know how to do that. Well, mine didn't turn out near as good. These are not fails. These are experiments in mark making. And I think they're kind of experiments in crazy, scary, but just using black and white. Here's another one. This looks like a uh, shrunken head from Borneo. And I know you can't see that, but that's an acrylic. That's from Emma Pettit and Kara Bullock's group. And this was an exercise on painting a hand. And I did it on this book. I went through and coded because it's mixed media paper. But I coded it with a gesso like subjects uh, coating. And watercolor is not particularly crazy about coded surfaces. So you have to modify the way you work. This one I love. This is charcoal. And this one, so I am ready for some classes. Okay, I've got that all a little bit. Okay, we've got 10 watching. We've only got two live already i've drawn another face um this one's a little bit more of a uh, side view three quarter view and bigger than life size by about 30 percent this this measurement from here to your middle finger is about from your chin to your hairline so it's bigger than life size but for this kind of a project it works So, I decided that one done in blues would be cool. So, I pulled out papers with blues. Blues. For all y'all watching out there, come say hi. If you're new to the group, we're nice. 
and I'll beat them up if they're not. So anyway, I pulled some blues. I did some calligraphy marks with my new big brush. And anyway, we're just going to see what happens. I love the way the first one turned out, so we'll see if we can get a second one. So I need darks, mediums, and lights in values. And I'm going to start with some darks. I think this has some blue in it. Not much. No, I'm going to put that one back. It's a little bit more brownie. We're going with the other one I pulled. Here's a good dark. That's kind of a dark. And believe me, we've got more. Here's a good dark. Heavy and mediums. When you're working, this is a piece of fabric I did. Robin McClendon had us doing jelly printing on chiffon fabric, and that's pretty cool. And it is blues. So, here we go. We're going to start. Now, the parts that are to show you what I'm working from. The parts that are the darkest will get the darkest papers. Parts that are the very lightest will get the lightest papers. And the parts that aren't either dark or light will get the medium papers. Okay, so that's just a face that, that I found. And... Um, Thought it might be an interesting challenge. I'm trying to get something here to raise this so I can see it and you can see it. Now you just tear, tear pieces. that kind of approximate an area. You don't get too fussy with it, but Okay, that's pretty good. Matte medium. I'm using uh, Decor Media matte medium. And I'm using a Princeton Catalyst blade. And I discovered that I have a Tuesday morning special blade that was designed for kitchenware. It's darn near identical. Oh. Next step, put stuff on the back of the paper. So three. You put it on the substrate, you put it on the back of your collage paper, and you put it on top. Here we go. That's the start. Um, I could... I think I'm going to do that. That's just such a sliver. Just slide that right in there. There. 
you need me, put it in all caps. Hi, Joycey. How are you? <clears throat> and now go to a different dark. I'm doing a collage face. And at the rate of how much you use paper wise that you've got in your stash, it will take forever to use up my stash. Okay, so I'm just interviewing pieces. She's got a real thin piece. Let's do this. This with the calligraphy on it. Put it right there. I love being a student. I'm so tickled that I have taken that I bit the bullet. Okay, so there's part of that shadow by the, by the nose. It's another dark. These pieces are a little bit smaller than what I did for the class project. India ink is I think I may have put that one on upside down. It's the blue part. The India ink is coming off. That's interesting. You get all off. It's a medium. I can tell you right now, I'm going to be needing some dark. This is a good one. Hi, Nancy. You just lurk along, baby. No, 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 not going to work. I'm not going to play with you. Perfect. Looky there, looky there. Okay, so let's cut. This is going to cover her eye and her hair sideways. Chop of hair. Isn't that cool? Cool. Just matte me, I mean, in the ink and my matte medium, no biggie.
what makes it so neat is that you're using papers that are similar. But the value, that's what we're playing with is value. I'm going to go ahead and leave that because I can always paint it out or cover it or whatever. I'm just going to leave it. You can carry this to just about as far as you want it to go. I've seen, I've seen people cut, cut, cut your stuff out of magazines in particular colors and file it away. And this one dude, been making these intricate collages on a piece of, on a board that had been treated with encaustic. They were amazing. I mean, we're talking, he needed tweezers to put some of the parts on. And I do not want to get involved that far. Says she. We all know how long that'll last. If Miss Wickster decides she wants to do that, then by God, we'll do it. Okay, now I need a real dark. No, I think I'm going to go with a light. Bow. With the white of her eye. I'm kind of tear it out in that shape. Come on. That's close. Everyone glad to get back to normal? Which we know for artists is nothing exist. It's really not a good place for that. For that uh, Blackish color, you wipe it off. Here. There. And then When you um, jelly print, always look at the back side, especially when you've worked on tissue or jelly paper, because sometimes the back side is exactly what you need. And I think I'm going to use this. Show her blue eyes. How about that? Could be a little bit darker, but. That can be handled later. Well, I've been missing you guys. Now this other eye is lighter.
but it's still white. I'm going to go ahead and put another piece of the writing in there. On the other one, I used uh, one of Patty Tolly Parish's stamps with the goddess writing on it. And that worked well. But I want to do something different. We're still blue, but it might be different. You didn't get it. Check you guys. And hello, everybody out there in Lurker Land. Here's a piece of light that would work over that eye. Turn a piece for the eyebrow. Collage is really not a crafty invention. It was, of course, started by the Asians. China usually gets credit for most of this stuff in the fourth of the Ming Dynasty or whatnot. Um, so there's an eyebrow. And we need a dark. Right here. Is that the way I had it? That's the way I had it. I'm gonna go with that. This was left over from the fabric painting session that I did that thing for Joycey, that plate. And this is the freezer paper. 
with all these pieces moved out. She did. Damn it. I'm sorry, Rosie. Figure out how to let her in. Add. Hey. Now. We got company. Y'all have somebody. It's me. What you working on? Well, I was working on my, um, my black and white um collage journal uh-huh so i'll just keep working on that well, i think that's great i wanted to do this because once you get something on your mind what you want to do yep if you get stuff on your mind <laughs> which i sometimes don't <laughs> Hey, I saw your, uh, your newest post on Instagram. That looks really cool. Who? Uh, uh, oh, is that rabbity book that looked like it had, um, it was just warm. That was just saw it. Are you sure? Yep. I don't think I've ever posted anything on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where I saw it. Well, no. Am I the same rosemary Charlotte class? I guess not because I don't know what Charlotte class is. Oh, let me see. Who's... So I must not be. This is um, Rusty Peacock Rosemary. You can find her at the dark of night. <laughs> <laughs> when some of us are just on the verge of crawling to bed. <laughs> That's just what I do, unfortunately. <laughs> Low key. Oh, yeah. Stitch and stash. Yes. Is that me? I mean... You know what? I'm in one stitch group, and I'm trying to remember if that's the one. Stitch in. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Isn't that awful? I forget the name of the group I'm in. I, if, it, if it's the one that, um, the only one I am, uh, I I posted a picture of a little, um, little quail that I'm working on with... Um, Rusty, a rusty quail that I was stitching on. If that's what you saw, that's me. <laughs> if not, mm, I don't know. Medium. My favorite is black and white. Rosemary Journal put me to shine. Are you sliding that on your on your um, microphone? Do what? It sounds like you're sliding the paper over your microphone. Uh -oh. It sounds really loud. Today. Yeah. Yeah, I love. I, love I, love I, love 
I did this and I thought it was kind of cute. And she's she's movable. I should have put her on a little piece of cardboard, but um, but I didn't. But she can move about. She just can't come out. <laughs> that was that was a midnight. <laughs> a midnight <laughs> right here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Midnight ride with Rosemary. Uh huh. Yeah. Where's my bucket? I have to go on the hunt. I, uh, I put a bunch of black and whites together and I put them in a folder and now I can't find the folder. I was getting all organized and now I'm completely disorganized. Well, drop. I am shuffling through paper, so I hope that's not the annoyance. Well, it sounds louder than your voice. Does that tell you how loud it is? <laughs> oh, I like that. What's everybody else working on? Anything? Oh, you saw me do Audrey? <laughs> You know, well, if you were there, you know how bad I am. I, I'm really bad at looking up and seeing who's there and what they're saying. I just get kind of lost in the moment and then, you know. That's right, Mary's wife saying she ignores you. Yeah. I can't do something much better. I was going to say, you should be talking. <laughs> I've been waiting for 15 minutes. You're just. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Especially if I'm painting. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to start putting somebody. They, they, they uh, on another stream, they were saying, you need a comment reader. And I think you do. You need someone in the background saying, so-and-so asked you this. So-and-so wants to know this. So you can stay engaged. But it's the rhythm of what you're doing, you know? Yeah. Because when you get cooking, you get cooking. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know if I told you, Vicki. Starting this year, I'm starting a new thing. And what I'm doing is once a month, I'm putting a specific kit together. And then on my lives... We're going to put them together. Oh, cool. And so I figured we'll probably do the lives where you're putting them together, probably starting. I'm not exactly sure when, but sometime between the 10th and the 15th, because that'll give me time to get the stuff sent out and people receive it. And um, and then it'll be over maybe a couple of lives that will do it. It depends on the project. You know, some things will get done quicker than others. Um, but for the very finishing stuff. Yeah. 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 But for the very first one, it's probably going to be a little longer than the others because I'm going to teach all the basics of putting a journal together. Um, that way, when we do our other stuff, I don't have to, for the beginners, I don't have to explain, you know, how to put a signature together or what a signature is or, you know, everything will be explained in the first one. And even if you don't buy the kit, you still obviously get, you know, get to take advantage of the tutorial and can play it along with your own stuff. Because a lot of people have their own stuff and they just never use it. So right. this might encourage people to use their own stuff. And well, let me know when 
when you get something, I'll send it out for you for, to my folks. Okay. Well, it's already out there. I've got the kits. Oh. Are, the kits have already been. I Well, we're starting off. I had, I found, okay, let me backtrack. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I found. Now, keep going with all your stuff at once. That's good. <laughs> um, um, I found a bunch of old books. When I say old, it's like mid 1800s. So it had the marble on the on the cover, and it had the leather, and but it was in really really bad shape. They were not even connected to the spine. I mean, it wasn't like they were of any value. So I got them really cheap. So what I did is I took those the cover and cut the covers in half so that I could have more to work with as far as how many kits I could offer. And, um, and those are going to be, you know, what we're going to make the books out of. So I put those kits together and I talked about it a couple of weeks before and they all sold out with like in about an hour. Cool. So I took one and made copies of the, um, of the of the book so the other ones that i have on this on the shop right now are just a print out of the original book so um but the original well, what, are your, what are the kits gonna cost this one costs 25 dollars okay including shipping no the it's running about maybe three, four dollars for shipping for um, the ones that don't have the hardback book in them, the printout mm -hmm. that are right now. Um, when I did the uh, when the book covers were being sent, they were a little heavier, a lot heavier, and um, the shipping was a little bit more. But um, so each month we're doing a different one. Ouch. And I've already got together most of the stuff for next month because I know I got to get them done way ahead of time so that we can do them in time. So that's been kind of fun. I love putting stuff together. Oh, and there, I gave them the name as Kitten Caboodles. Oh, okay. Yeah. My husband says I use that phrase a lot. I didn't even realize I used it. And you don't even have kittens. And, huh? I said, and you don't even have kittens. No. I didn't even know there was um, cat food by that name. It's just an old, old phrase that yeah. I heard in an old, old movie. And then all of a sudden, after I put my listing up for Kitten Caboodles, when I would go to my homepage, there was running on the side advertising for Kit and Caboodles. And I'm going, what? Who? Who's selling Kit and Caboodles? And it was cat food. And I'm going, oh, my goodness. I didn't even know there was such a thing. But, oh, well. <laughs> as long as you don't get a cease and desist, you're good. Oh, my goodness. All this change is smelling. <laughs> that was so funny. So anyway, you know, I encourage those that, you know, have your own stuff coming over and see what we do. I'm not sure when I'm going to start, but if you just go to my channel, you know, I'll make an announcement when we're literally going to start. Uh, most people already have their stuff. I had already ordered. Hi, Sherry. Okay, I got body parts I think I can glue. Oh, I made a stamp. But I didn't carve it. Where, where did I do with it? This is what we're going to do. Oh, in, we're going to. Huh? 
Oh, well, foamy ones. Yeah. And let me find where's the original. It was fun. I was making up stuff of what we're going to do in the February thing. Okay, so I took this picture. And because um, we're going to be doing, um, on, in February, we're going to be doing Freda. Ouch. Something bit me today. Ah, I got the itches. Not even gardening season. Oh, I know. Okay. So I took this. No, I took one a little bit bigger than this one. Probably twice this size. And I did it with the foam. <laughs> I did it with the foam ones work great. Okay, and then here's the print that I got out of it. It's just the first print, so I gotta like fine tune it. It's down here somewhere. Hold on. And then this is the print that I got from it. I think it came out kind of cute. And then I'm gonna make a oh, I like that turn the garden. Then I'm gonna make some some stamps for the flowers, the traditional flowers that she always has on her hair. Yeah, because then they could be in different color. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was fun. I did that last night. This one it didn't show her earring, and I didn't like the way it looked, so I added an earring to that side of the face. I thought that's it was really cool. So anyway, that's a teaser for what we're gonna do for the February class. <laughs> giggle, giggle. <laughs> okay, Rosemary, start gluing. Get to I the. I think I probably overloaded myself on classes and challenges and. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I hardly ever. Like I did, that's why when she was asking about the stitch one, I'm going, yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, I started all gung-ho with that, and then I got distracted with stuff that people wanted me to make for them, and then I just got distracted. So I got to go back because I really enjoy doing that. That was a fun class. That's about the only right. class. I'm taking a I'm taking three classes now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a lot for me. I couldn't do that. And I do not want to be one of those statistics where you buy a class and never do it. Oh yeah. Well see that's why if you come and join me, you're not paying for a class, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> If you, oh, don't, that's if you don't finish, it's like a big deal. <laughs> I didn't pay for it anyway. What do I care? <laughs> Maybe I should finish the, the past three I've gotten for done with you. You haven't finished them? No, I bring them home and. Oh, yeah. I've but got what you did with them are practically finished. Now you just got to fill them up. But the basics, you got them finished, right? Um, yeah, probably the seed packet one. Or I think that was the very first one. Um, what was it? We had tags in it. Oh, yeah. That was from the, uh, the um, pink chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing. That one pretty well was finished when I left. Yeah. And then the encaustic one. Yeah. Um, that was cool what you did. With that. It's sitting there still in its little bag. I need, to, I need to get it out too. Oh, was, by itself. How sad. No, no. Bless its little heart. <laughs> was that the last one? I uh, yeah yeah or well, that's, did you do the plaster one? Did I do what? Did you come and do the plaster one? I don't remember. Yeah 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 yeah. Okay, that was the last one. Yeah, I did it too. It's sitting right here. Oh. I mean, I can I can see it. 
Oh, it's weird. Hey, I know. It's a little hot. But the camaraderie is what's so much fun. And I just love being a student. Yeah. I'm looking at this in the screen. It's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. Let me see if anybody's talking to us. Hi, Sherry. The rusty quail. I had a, I did a, an encaustic monotype. And then made a book out of it for my friend Pam, who, and it had a rusty quail on the front cover. That's a fun thing. To be real quiet with my Russell, huh? I'm trying to be real quiet with my Russell. You need to listen to your playback and see how quiet you are. <laughs> you might be surprised. Yeah. Uh, my my camera's right where it always has been. I bet the pastel version really drives you crazy when you hear that going across the sanded paper. Okay, I'm doing the flood zone here. Just having some fun. I got rid of my birthday cookies. Now I just got to get through the Christmas stuff my mom always makes. Peanut brittle and stuff like that. Uh-oh. Yeah. I see the enabler, huh? I'm even holding this over to the side. Give me a complex. <laughs> okay, I can't decide on this. So I'm just going to start gluing. The more I try to figure it out. The more I don't like it. So, there you go.
Now they will give me two of these, and I can choose to carry one as far as I want to, and the other one I can keep. less finished you want to see the one I was talking about I showed it at the beginning yay yay yeah 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 I heard everybody not that cool and I just happened to have a piece of calligraphy ink that made the mouth Oh, wow. That's beautiful. So I'm going to do one in blues. I am doing one in blues. It's all about the contrast. I don't know nothing about nothing. What? I don't know nothing about nothing. I got some cool happy mail today. What did you get? Well, Renee down in Texas. I don't know if you're familiar with Renee. Not that she didn't come to the Texas workshop. No. No, she is. Um, she says she's not a crafter, but she is an artist because in a sense, because she puts um, like supply kits together and basically go shopping for everybody and she puts these kits together and a lot of different journalers will buy her kits and use them because she does them in you know subject matter and she does a really really good job and she does I, I love her stuff anyway so she knows what I like and I know what she likes so every once in a while I'll send her a little something and so I got something from her today I'll show it to you I love getting happy mail, but oh, right. you have to give it to get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to make somebody happy first. <laughs> I can't just sit up here like the princess I am. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you got to come down to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what she sent me. Obviously, you know what journal she wants me to put this in. <laughs> Look at all this pretty, pretty Ooh. stuff. It's a whole bunch of that fabric. fabric. I bet that's fabric. That is ribbon, and it's got some beautiful, um, you know, gold threads through that one. And then this one has a bunch of roses. That's pretty prim. And then these are roses. Pretty. Pretty that is. I'm going to use that up. Oh, wow. Net I remember those. Yeah. And then a pretty card, a vintage card. My grandmother used to make them, but mm -hmm. I bet nobody in the world has ever had an air freshener can with a crocheted skunk. On top of it, and you lift this tool to spray it. <laughs> I hope you still have it. 
<laughs> no, it was one of those things that kind of burned up in the fire. <laughs> Aww. Oh. <laughs> and then she sent me this. Look at this beautiful. This is all um, wow. hand appliqued and hand stitched. All of this. What um, ethnicity is that? Indian? It looks like it's South American. South American. Mm -hmm. It looks more Peruvian to me. The shape okay. here. Yeah. And it's really got some really cool, really cool designs on that. And um, at all hand done, like I said. And then, you know, she knows the rest of Peacock. She knows I'm into my Peacocks. And look at this beauty. What is this? It's, uh, it goes to a pillow. And look how beautiful that is. Good grief. And that's all hand done. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm going to have fun with that. And then to top it off, well, then you have to have your black lace. You can't be doing a journal like that without your black lace. Oh, that'd be a pretty journal cover. So anyway, so she sent this to me even before she knew I was doing the Freda stuff. So um, this stuff's going to look beautiful in my journal for her. So pretty. Anyway, so that came. That That's came. not happy mail. That goes all the way to Christmas present. <laughs> that came today. So that was fun. The dogs were yakking. <laughs> okay. Back to the gluing. Back to the gluing. What else do I have that I want to put there? So this is just supposed to be a plain, you know, like an open prairie or something. But it almost looks like the color of the water where that little boat is on. And, of course, then he has to have that umbrella. doesn't really have anything left to it. <laughs> He's been through a storm, let me tell you. Well, in our town, they just opened up an axe throwing place. Like You're kidding. <laughs> yeah. That's so, good. Well, there's the guy that put it down here. He's already got one up in Fayetteville. So he decided to open one down here. And um, it seems like it's the thing. I didn't know anything about it, but I looked it up, and they're all over the country, and it's a thing. So listen to this. You go in there. You bring your own liquor, and then they can you an axe, and you throw it against the wall. Uh, can you tell me what sense that makes? <laughs> yeah. You don't want me throwing an axe without the liquor. <laughs> I looked at my husband and I said, who comes up with these things? And how do they afford the insurance to open up a place like that? That must be crazy. When you're nothing, how do they get a bar license with Arkansas liquor? There is no bar license. You bring your own liquor. You don't need a license. You're not selling it. That sounds fishy too. I I get get with it. A lot of places do that, you know, a lot of food places. They can't get a liquor license, so you can bring your bottle of wine or your beer or whatever you want. But um <laughs> so oh, okay, so you and Richard beat a path over there, right? No way, Jose. And the only reason I know that much about it is because our friend downtown. He owns the building that that, let, well, let me rephrase that. He owns the building that shares the common wall where the axes are being thrown at. <laughs> and he is not a happy camper. <laughs> I won't even say the words he's been saying. 
He is mad. <laughs> um, why is he mad? Is it noisy? Well, yeah, you got, got axes being thrown at your wall. <laughs> and you got drunk people screaming and hollering and having music. And yeah, drunk little... people don't do that. <laughs> at my house, anyway. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We're too old for that kind of hooping and hollering. Well, you know, they they promote downtown for you to live there. They built condos and stuff. He lives upstairs. He's converted the all of upstairs to this beautiful loft apartment. And oh. that's what it's zoned for. You you're supposed to, you know, open your business downstairs and live upstairs and create this environment downtown. Well, you know, yeah, let us create this environment. And what do you do? <laughs> Some guy next door starts throwing axes at your wall. <laughs> the only thing that pops to mind is the old Johnny Carson routine. <laughs> I don't remember who the guy was that threw the axe and hit right in the guy's crotch. Oh, Back then, yeah. that was rainy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't see any all caps, so I guess we're good. No, everybody's quiet. I think we put them to sleep. Well, I told him to bring some clothes. Okay, let's go back to the face. So we've got light coming down here. Let's do the dark piece down there. How about it? We'll let you. <laughs> Sherry. Why well, try to wake you up? <laughs> Are you laughing to yourself? No, I'm talking to Sherry. Unlike you, I'm reading the chat. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got to read the chat. No, I was telling them that I was, I thought I was putting them to sleep and they go with an act story. <laughs> They're going to go to sleep with an act story. <laughs> I just lose myself. Well, that's the fun part of art. Well, that's what you're supposed to learn how to do. Yeah. I'm having fun with all this. Same. I'd like to have a dark that's not the same. Yeah, I love that. I'd like to learn how to do that. It looks pretty cool.
Well, it feels like it should be easy. It doesn't look you easy. Identify the major shapes. I'll start with something really big and not intricate. <laughs> See, this is the piece right under her neck. This is her chin. Let me go her down again. I don't think I saw the original picture, so. There she is. So that's this part right here. Oh, okay. So I'm just using three values. I'm using the dark, dark, and the light, light, and then everything else is metal. Oh, okay. medium, dark. And so that's what makes it look like a face. Well, of course it does. What I know. Medium, dark. What's that doing there? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna check chat. You do that. It'll take you two seconds. Hey, really Sherry. See, Sherry's talking to me too. Oh, okay. If I could just find one medium that I really fall in love with and just stick to it. Hmm. Problem is that's that boring. Yeah, that's boring. You wanna mess with them all? Russell, Russell. <laughs> Don't remind me. I'm looking for a map that it shows first. Uh oh. This one with a little curly cue. Why didn't you guys tell me to put his legs first? I'll we'll pick it up and slide him under. Oh, my goodness. You know the screws. It sticks really fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. His his legs were an afterthought. Uh oh. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna tear it all up. When I first started jelly printing, I thought it had to be on cardstock. Oh, not much you can do with that. Yeah, because then you get paper that won't tear. Yeah. So that means this piece of paper is 10 years old or more. <laughs> oh, I've been having friends send me leaves from all over the place. Really? Yeah. So I got because you know they got trees I don't have, and I got some cool prints the other day. I got some from Texas. I got some from Florida. Got some from uh, Georgia. Well, my moldy avocado stuff sure turned out good. I think being moldy helped it. You mean Randy's? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you didn't have to tell everybody that. <laughs> hey, you spilled the beans yourself last time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, I got some some drying up on the counter and it's starting to get a little fuzzy so I think I'm I think they're ready <laughs> then I have a bunch in the freezer
it took me over a month to get my camera to, uh, well, for YouTube to recognize my camera on my new computer. Really? It wouldn't, it wouldn't recognize it at all. I'd have to go back to my laptop. And my whole point was my laptop was getting ready to die and it was getting too slow. So I oh, it was a mess. I still don't even know how I got it to run. I downloaded things. I unloaded things. You know, I reloaded, unloaded so many times. I don't even know which thing I did made it make it work. But it finally just started. You finally working. hit the magic formula for yeah. it. Yeah. So I don't even know what I did. But my husband always said, because, you know, he's electrician. <laughs> when he used to go troubleshoot stuff. First thing he ever did was plug, unplug, replug, unplug. <laughs> it resets everything, you know. And sometimes that's all you have to do instead of going through all of the fancy stuff. So that's what I just kept doing, you know, undoing, do, undo, undo, do it again. And finally. I can't help, I can't help you with a, with a PC. Mm -hmm. I can pretty much make a Mac do whatever I want it to. Yeah. What did he do there? Yeah, there maybe. That looks too much like a lip. <laughs> well, that's what I'm playing with right here, lips. No, I'm talking about mine. I'm not going for a lip, and I'm getting a lip here. <laughs> Sometimes when you least expect it. <laughs> it probably should not go in his head. I'm not sure. That looks like a mustache. <laughs> I never thought I would spend my days doing stuff down. It's relaxing. Come on down. That looks like Gradu. Like what? Gradu. Whatever that is. Yeah, well. Begins with an S and ends with a T. <laughs> okay. my, upper lip, my upper lip is there. Right there. There, that's better. I need a light. I don't even like clowns. I don't even know why I put this here. I can't stand them. I guess I'm just challenging myself. <laughs> Sounds like it. I can't stand them. T 
too much Twilight Zone as a child. <laughs> Those reruns will kill you. Color like me, and they come up with a lot of things. Oh, that's about such pretty collage paper. I got enough to do a wall. <laughs> wall. <laughs> I'm serious. Not a bad idea. I want to get a small um, bathroom with book pages, descripts, no pictures in it. It came out pretty cool looking. I like what you're doing there. Yeah, I'm just trying to make the freak come out in him. <laughs> Oh, who is that? He's already a freak, so let's just go with it. Okay. I think for now he's good. I don't know, I'm going to call him done for now. Nothing's ever really done done, but for now. Where did this come from? Oh, yeah, it's almost perfect right there. Right there, right there. I should have had him standing on that. I made a mistake. That's okay. <clears throat> Next. Yeah. Next. I love my little elephants. I think they're so cute. I need to look through my book. Ooh, hello. Lost my place. Huh? Lost my place. It's her mouth and nose. Oops. This one might not be as good as the first one. 
Our eyeball would be about right there. That's close. Yeah, I'm going to put this here. You got the belly dancers and the stone dancers. Stoners and ballet. This is what those of you who um, haven't heard me talk about it before. This is what happens when I go to Rosemary's studio. Wow. Uh, we end up just not talking. <laughs> I, was at Shannon's. I was at Shannon's one afternoon. We went two hours. <laughs> Without saying a word. And we like each other. Think if we didn't. <laughs> we could go 10 hours. <laughs> well, it's comfortable when you don't have to entertain. We come with our own entertainment. <laughs> Corsair has been through a rough time. Well, I haven't lost her yet. These areas could be lighter, which is easily fixable. Every once in a while, I like to put my little red in there. Looks like flames are coming out of them. <laughs> yeah. Out of each hand. <laughs> Maybe it's a little too flamey. 
For anybody who does stuff like this, look into the screen. It really gives you a good perspective. I'm just going for it. For, I don't care if it looks flamey. <laughs> Let's go for it. Go for it. Same thing when I used to do um, home decorating. You take pictures. Uh -huh. It's totally different. Take a picture of it and look at it through the picture rather than live. And the composition just totally looks different. You can see your mistakes. Yeah, that's the main goal here. Yeah. Well, we started to clear out the um, the little enclosed porch there in the front of the studio. Yeah. And so now there is um, places to walk. <laughs> there isn't stuff on every part of the floor because I'm going to, uh, my goal is to get my heat press out there. Uh, you walk all your heat press. Yeah, so I can put it on a table at the right height right now. The table I have it on over there. Yeah, I know. It's very awkward. So um, we're just going to make something. It make it easier to get to the food if you moved it out of the kitchen. What's that? Make it easier to get to the food if it was out of the kitchen. <laughs> I knew there would be a reason why you'd like it out there. <laughs> and that could be the time out spot for people who aren't good. <laughs> Not that I would know anything about that. Mm, of course not. Well, I went to uh, went to go get something at where it was I can't remember where I was, and the lady behind the counter that was assisting me, she goes. What are what are you going to do with this? And I said, oh, I, I make handmade journals. And she goes, oh, do you just like cover up journals? I said, no, no, we make them from scratch, you know. And then I tried to explain to her what it was. And <clears throat> if you've never seen them, it sounds kind of weird, you know, to explain a junk journal if someone hasn't seen one before. But um, and then I explained other things because she goes, well, what else do you do? So I explained to her like the eco dyeing and stuff like that. And so this, a couple of ladies were there and they started getting excited and getting involved in the conversation. And they said, well, where do you learn how to do stuff like that? You know, I said, well, you can come to my studio if you want. Oh, where are you? In Fayetteville? I said, no, I'm right here. And, and she goes, oh, they do stuff like that here? And I said, exactly. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> I said, my people have to come from out of town to me because nobody around here wants to do anything. They're all a bunch of fuddy-duddies. You know, <laughs> better be careful. You'll have more than you can handle. Nah, too many fuddy daddies. Not everybody fits in. For those of you listening, <laughs> we've <laughs> run you off. <laughs> we've scared people off. Yeah. And what you see is what you get. So. We don't pretend otherwise. All right. Let me look at a different magazine. Ooh, pretty.
I don't know if I want people or a place. Ooh, she's scary looking. I like that. People look scary. Scare them, scare them. Too much color. I need black, white, or red. Oh, she's funny looking. Look at that makeup. Ooh, ooh. Okay, where are we? We got that new spot in the light. I don't have many lights. Home. <clears throat> better go tell him that we're live. Hubby's home. Huh? Hubby's home. Hubby's home. I'm filming. Well, hi, little boy. It came in to see you. He did. I'm filming. Hi, Beach. Come on, Kathy. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on Jay. I gotta go. Okay. Our new little boy is doing so good. It took how long has it been? A month? No, five weeks maybe. For him to really acknowledge me. And it took Brandy being gone. Duck hunting. That one won't come up. And now I looked down the last time Randy was gone last week and I looked down one day and he was sitting on the end of my recliner, just like, uh, I said, where'd you go from? <laughs> and he jumped up there all by his little seven pound self. And <laughs> now he'll do it and run right up, give me a kiss. Well, it does look like a face, except for that spot right there. And that's easily fixed. Have you checked uh, messages in a while, Missy? Mm -mm. Uh, nothing new. You mean comments or messages? I'm sorry, comments. Yeah, nothing new. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're either mesmerized or bored in sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just moved on to somebody more exciting. Who knows? <laughs> you won't find anybody much more exciting. Though. <laughs> One thing about my feed, you never know. I'm going to be working on Okay, put those right there. 
Now, where do we go from here? I need some dark. Oops. Look back at the picture to figure out where I am. I mean, look at the screen. Okay, so I do need dark. Okay, little Missy, that's all dark. This is all light. You headed now. Say what? Is it where you headed now? Another page? Mm -hmm. Here's a field as either dying or has been killed by some means. The whole, all the trees are dead. And these little purple clouds, so cool. So I have this woman here. She's gonna look out. She's gonna look out for them. Hope they all come back. Is what the right name? Sally is asking, is that the right name? I don't know. <laughs> What name do you see and what name do you think it's supposed to be? Or what name do you want it to be? Well, I'm not changing my name. Hey, Sally, Sally. Yeah, we can watch it later. Mary Ellen, I hope there's another Vicky in the stream because I don't recall sending anything out. Yes, Sally, uh, her name is Joyce. Everybody just calls her Joycey. 
Um, the smart man's face, the other one did too. Mouth is a little better on this one, which makes it more feminine. Feminine. Oh, I like that. I like the mouth. Yeah, it's just a matter of playing around with it until you find a piece of paper that matches. Mm -hmm. And then trim it kind of fit. Alert, alert, alert. <laughs> Yeah, my door is shut. I'm still carrying on. <laughs> They're just doing their job. They can get dinner. Just a little piece. Two little ones squeak. <laughs> I'm waiting for some resin to be delivered. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. What kind of resin? Um, I have some. Not the clear resin. It's the pouring kind of resin that you. Oh, cast, okay. Casting resin. Um, I have a bunch of resins different than pouring, isn't it? Say what? Casting resin is different than pouring? Yes. Casting, most casting resin isn't clear because it doesn't have to be clear. Because you're, you're going to do something else with it, paint it or whatever. Okay. And so I have a bunch of silicone molds, so I'm going to be okay. playing with those. Those will be included in another kit and caboodle. <laughs> I got um, Shannon's extra special uh, custom keeper, custom custom keeper. Ooh. We, uh, I've had it for a year, I guess. When she did the uh, resin coat. Oh yeah. And the table that she put it on to rest in the other room was not level. Right. I mean, she had. It rolled off on the table. It was a mess. So she just scooped it all up and put it back on the alcohol ink that she had. And it really made a neat pattern. So I said, I want the screwed up one. So I got it. Very cool. Off. Richard been up to oh, what has he been up to <laughs> he um he's on the uh, animal advisory board now oh yeah so he's been finding out you know, the lay of the land, who's who, why the they're joys doing, what they're public doing. service. Huh? The joys of public service. Yeah. He's finding out everybody's got their own agenda, you know. 
Yeah. It's never about the animals. And because he doesn't represent anybody or is beholden to anybody or owe anybody, he can say whatever he wants and they don't like it. They don't want new members to um, question anything. Everything's got to be status quo. Yeah, Sally, you can't see it, but she has sketched it. She sketched the face first. I just put a rock. Oops. Sketched it and curved it up. Laughing at me. Hmm? I said, Are you laughing at me? Me? I'm not even laughing. You must be hearing your dog. <laughs> this is going to be cool. Everything you do looks cool. What are you talking about? It's just different temperatures of cool. <laughs> I have to send you one of my little calendars that I made. You can tell me if you want. Oh, no. Let me see. No, I don't have any more of the bug ones. But I do have the regular ones. I'll show them to you in a second. Keep looking. Door closed, but that's all right, too. Doors are meant to be opened. I mean, open. I'm not sure that's big enough. Damn it. Here we go. Medium sized circle punch. Okay. 
Not big enough. I wonder if I can use. Talking to myself. Okay. Okay. Hold my beer. Stand back and watch this. Medium. Perfect. Use a piece of this cloth. Did y'all see this? With the chiffon printed and jelly printed. I'm going to use a piece of it. So much fun. Hmm? I said, this is so much fun. And there's our shoulder. And then her neck attaches. Not a bad finger. It'll do much good to put glue on the chiffon. Okay, there's one side. And another side. Got this great big bow thing on her, on her neck. I think what I'm going to do is do a piece of it. And that would be a spot where you can come back in and paint. That's what all this stuff is. I love these little spatulas. These, these are Princeton, but I also have one that's darn near identical that came from Tuesday morning in the kitchen department. I just got a few, something like that. Okay, I need to go ahead and get the, the turban. They have a bunch of them on sale right now at, um, not like that with the handle, but another kind that's like a scraper. Yeah. But it's, it's got, it feels like, like in the center part, it's got some kind of metal. And then all the edges are the silicone, uh, you know, soft. 
which means you can like really press with it when you're where you're holding it because what it's really made for is a bowl scraper and then you can also cook with it because it's silicone um but it's really cool for art did you get it yeah i'm gonna go back and i got one and it also has all the measurements on there because my husband was asking oh, cool. me and stuff and so I really got it for him. I, I really got it for him. I was thinking of him. And then once I opened it up, I go, wait a minute. I need to go back and get me some of these. We're just having fun. Thank you for stopping by, Sally. Bye, Sally. Hope you like the rerun. This is not the most dynamic couple of hosts, but um, it is what it is. So that would come down about like that. And bring it down. Okay. Need to do some more of that chiffon paper. I mean, cloth. Now we've got a white piece. I like how this one came out. Next. Gotta look at the opposite side. See, that's the side I'll use, and this is the original. I'm getting cold. Sun's going down. Oh, it was 50 something here today. It's 52 now. It was nice and sunny all day. It was pretty pleasant.
Sorry about that. You better talk, Vicky. Huh? You better talk. I'm trying to get um put this down so I can start working on the but even if I just get a few I'm done, it'll be all right. She's wearing pearls. Darkish. This one might mm -hmm. be the one I choose to paint. toys yeah he's so fun he's just he's seven pounds i mean that's nothing <laughs> okay now this is that, story. Is that when he's squeezing all the air out of his whole body every time he works <laughs> <laughs> 
You gotta inhale some air for the next one. Yeah, that's you. I'm almost to that point. Sorry, guys. And then it's done. The barking of me. Well, I can see why you need a lot of collage papers. Mm hmm. You don't want to use the same ones over and over. Okay, where is her neck? Where's her mouth? Something about like that right there will do it. Let's see if I came back while well, Sally left. So, if I came back and redrew the portrait on this paper, I mean, on top of this, it would make all the difference in the world. Okay. I don't think I'm anal enough to do serious art pieces. You don't think um, you're what? Anal not anal enough. Mm. But it might surprise me. She still kind of looks like a woman over there. So we'll keep going. If you want to be exact, you can buy your pieces down and trace them, but that's no fun. Nah. I got like about four pages done. Okay. We have four, five, five pages. 
And I've just about got this one to the point where it's going to have to dry. I don't want you over the hinges uh -huh. of this book. I'm getting hungry. Have we still got guests? So got what? Yes. Um, I haven't looked. Um Yeah, we do. Huh? We have some guest people. We drink water. Um. I got eight pages done. Holy moly. Is that a lot? Yeah. I think that is my last mm -hmm. noise. It's Takes forever to get that medium off your fingers, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hang on. I'm just going to leave this down here. I can work on that if I decide to. Okay, lid on that. Spatula in the water. Now I'm going to put the pearls on, and then I'll be just about done. Hello. About done. I will be in about 10, 15 minutes. We're going to eat it canes with Ron and Pam, but I just need to know when you're finished. Okay. 6.30? What? You make it by 6.30? Yeah. I'll go out to eat. Is everybody still there? Rosemary, you got quiet. Uh. There she is. I thought maybe you were... No, I didn't want. I didn't want to talk while he was talking to me. Oh, okay. How much you want? <laughs> I'm here. I'm done gluing. Do you need help with that? What did I do with the cutter? Oh no. I had it. Oh, there it is. There it is. This was the best investment I ever made. Was what? This circle cutter. Oh, really? Yeah, Shannon had one, so I thought, if Shannon has one, then it must be good. <laughs> Problem is, it doesn't go down quite as little as. Eh, doesn't go down small enough.
Let's see. No, that's too big. What are you going to do right now? What are you creating? These are pearls, but they're too big. Mm. And I won't have a medium. Um, punch. And that one's too small. Before I cut this in. I was just sure that it's gonna work. And that one's too big. Poopy. I guess that could be little pearls. <laughs> Let's see what I can do here. You can do more than do a bunch of time, can't you? A bunch of what? Stamps and they'll just sit in the middle. They'll sit in the holder. I don't know. Not as to mixed media that I am. Now I'm cutting out pearls in different values. Uh -huh. Dark and light. Cool. Now I don't know where all that stuff went. I just Well, I'm not doing any more. I'm going to leave the studio so they can see the full screen of what you're doing. Okay. I am just about done. And that way you can show a full screen how much you got done in the biggie. You can punch more than she, well, she said she was leaving. She left. Uh-uh, I haven't left yet. Oh. I'm leaving now. Adios, amigo. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Let's see if this works with this size. Yeah. I don't think that's a pearl. Yeah. 
least y'all can get an idea of what I'm doing. Pearls are not just white, so neither are mine. One. Now this is where I'm heading. Keep losing them. I can give her a double strand of these little ones and it'll work. I like that. Yeah. And I think I could probably find some more pearlized paper to work through there. So that's where I'm headed, and this one is going to be the one that I work over with paint. She didn't work as good as the other. Oh. I'm sorry. Yes, I did sketch the face first. I am sorry. <laughs> good. Um, I got a pretty good likeness. I mean, you can kind of tell it's a face. My other one is better, but I'll come, I'll do the pearls. She's got another strand coming down here. And then come back with charcoal pencil or graphite. I can't do it right now because it's wet. Just do scribble -dee lines. And that will bring it all back into perspective. See, like that, and just draw right on top of it. And then I can keep my brown one for a minimal treatment. And my, some of my papers are wrinkling, but that's okay. This isn't for anything but my book. So, I appreciate y'all stopping in today. Well, she doesn't look too bad on the monitor. The nose definitely has a hook in it, and that's something that could be fixed with another little piece of paper. Right like that. Come on. Show it to me. One. There we go. A little bit of a lag today, but not bad. So that helps a little. So there's lots of little things like that that can be altered. All right. I, I might work on this again tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday. If I do, I'll turn the camera on and uh, send you a, a notice. Okay. So anyway, there's the pearls. I want a pearl necklace. Sorry. That was not very nice. Vicky, you go to timeout. 
Actually, I like the texture. Well, we'll see if this can be pulled off tomorrow. Okie doke. I'm going out now. I love you guys, and thanks for coming. Thank you, Rosemary. We'll do it again. Because mine do tend to get a little boring. All right. Bye. Love you. Over now.